Okay. All right, class. Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to read a story. So before I tell you anything about the story, I just want you to listen carefully to my instruction. Okay. All right. So today we'll be focusing on the skills of reading, but there'll be a bit of listening. There'll be a bit of speaking, and basically you are going to do group works. My instructions they are really important because we are going to move a lot today. All right. So can we start our lesson? Yes. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Each one of you is given a tile. This is a tile, okay? Each one of you should have one, okay? A set of jigsaw puzzles. All right. So basically, what I want you to do, I need you to form groups of six. Each one of you, please hold your tile of the puzzle, okay? So I need you to stand up, okay? All right. Mix yourself comfortable. Slide the chest into the desk. So now, still hold your puzzle. Try to find the right match of your puzzle so that you can form your groups. All right. Okay. Once you have located and identified your partners, just choose any of the tables here and sit. All right. Are you guys ready? Okay. You can sit if you have already identified your partners in the group. Okay. Good job. Sit down. Okay. This is number one. Number two. Yes. Good job. You are number three. Have you located your partner? Okay, you can move to the other table. Go, 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 go. Good job. Okay, now look at your jigsaw puzzle. Okay, what can you tell me about the jigsaw puzzle? Picture. It's a picture of a landscape. What kind of landscape, Imran? A sun rising. That's good. Okay, sun rising. Okay. A monkey. It's a monkey. Okay. Shrek. Shrek. Okay, Shrek is a fictional character, right? But Shrek is a what? Is Shrek a human being? It's an ogre. It's an ogre. Yes. How do you spell ogre, class? O-G-I-E. Thank you. O-G-I-E. That's right. So we have sun rising, monkey, peach, a bird, ogre, and a little boy in traditional costume, and according to them, a Japanese boy. So. These are the clues about our story. So, shout out your answers. What kind of story that are we going to read? We are going to read a story about Momotaro, the the Peach Boy. All right. We are going to proceed to the next activities. In the middle of your table, you could see this set, right? Yes. Basically, I've divided the story Momotaro, the Peach Boy, into six segments. Okay. So now. I'm going to let you to organize yourself. Each one of you, please take one and do not do anything yet. Do not open the paper, okay? Now, listen to my instruction. Now, this is the set that you are going to read. So, I'm going to give you two minutes, okay? Just read your segment. Do not pick to your friend's segments, okay? Do not look around. Just focus on your segment. Start reading your own segment. For jigsaw reading, in my lesson, I've divided the passage into six segments segment A to segment F. So each student will be given different segments. So they just have to focus on their own segment for two minutes or three, depending on the length of the text. Given uh, the students ample time for them to read at their own pace, to comprehend the passage at their, based on their own understanding, move them to the expert groups. Now you are going to move to your expert groups. All right. Those who are holding set A, raise your hand. Okay, set A like this. Okay, set A. Later, when I ask you to move, all the students who are holding the set A, please move here. All right, set B, raise your hand. Okay, those who are holding the set B, later when I ask you to move, please move to this table. Expert group means students will be doing uh, students will be doing group work. They are going to talk about the same text. They are going to discuss about the same materials. Uh, this is where communication happens. Students are working together to discuss about the same problem, to discuss about the passage, and they are going to add their own opinions about the passage. And then the student must be able to grab the main idea and train themselves how to actually tell, retell the stories to their group, the other group members. After that happens, the teachers need to move the students back to their home groups. In the home groups, the students will take turn to actually explain what they have read and what they have discussed about the passage. Have you guys finished with your discussion? Yes. I want to hear a very soundful yes. Is it a yes or no? Yes. 
Okay, that's right. Okay, now please get back to your original home groups. All right. Uh, okay, before we proceed with the next activity, those who are holding set A, can you just stand up and come forward, grab something from me? You have discussed with your expert members about the passage. Now, your task is you need to retell what you have read to your friends. For example, Zarif here, he was reading the set A, so Zarif has to explain to your friends what you have read, okay? You can use the worksheet to help you. For example, I'll give you one example, okay? All right, from the passage, I have read about Momotaro. Momotaro went to a place. He did this, okay? The reason why he went to that place, because he wanted to what? So explain to your friends so that your friends could understand the story. So the effectiveness of jigsaw reading is very, very good, basically, because students are less pressured to read a very lengthy text, Students are given some sort of opportunity to discuss with their own peers using their own language about the text. So meaning that weaker students, they can, they can code switch, meaning that they can use English a bit and a bit of BM to, to actually help them to comprehend the passage. And then, when they are supposed to retell the story to their friends, you are actually encouraging the students to use their own words to actually uh, summarize the story that they have read, rather than they just read a lot from the original text and nothing will happen there. Alright. If you are done with your discussion, say yes. Yes! Okay, now let's proceed to the next activity. So this activity you are supposed to do to complete, uh, to complete it as group work. Okay, so now what I have here is the worksheet B. Okay, have you seen this line before? Yes, yes or no? Can someone tell me what do you call this line as? Uh, Imran? It's a plot line. It is a plot line. All right, good job, Imran. Okay, can someone tell me the meaning of the word plot? Yes, Zarif. What do you think plot is? Something that related to the story. Something related to the story. Thank you very much, Zarif, for your answer. Azim? Way of the story. Way of the story. Way of the story. Can someone help Azim to improve the answer? Thank you, Azim, for your answer. Yes, Mirna? It's the storyline. Okay, good job. Give a big round of applause to Mirna. Yes. So basically, plot line, you have the introduction, rising action, the climax. Climax is really important. And resolution. Can someone tell me what is climax? Um, any ideas? Any clues? Yes, Patricia? Climax is when the most important part of the story happens. Good job. Another round of applause to Patricia. So apart from the plot line, you also have characters. Characters, there are two types of characters. The first one is major. The other one is minor. minor. Major characters. For example, like in the movie Avengers, who are the major characters? Iron yes, the Iron Man. Who else? Captain America, Loki. Thor, and Loki. Loki. Yes, major characters are the ones who are, I mean, the important people in the story, right? What is minor character? The people, the people, that are in the movie. The people who is less, who are less impo yeah. important. For example, like again, Avengers. Citizens. Who are the, yes, again? Citizens. Who are the minor characters again? Citizens. Citizens are, yes? Teachers. The teachers. You need to inculcate high order thinking skill. For example, in my lesson, I ask the student to reflect whether monsters are they real or not. If they are not real, give a reason why. If they are real to you, why? And uh, it is really important for the students to uh, be familiarized with this type of question because it generates creative thinking. Okay, so let's recap so far what we have got. Okay, in a story, in novels, in essays, in movies, you need to have these important elements. The plot, the storyline. When it comes to the plot, you must have the climax, the most important part of the story. And then you must have characters, the major and the minor characters. You also have setting, places, mentioned or used in the story. You have theme, the main idea of the story. Really important. And moral values, of course. Stories need to have moral values. So I need you to arrange the pictures here according to the plot. All right, for example, the first one is given to you. All right, you have to rearrange the pictures according to the plot lines. Okay, 
which one is the climax, which one is the rising action, which one is the resolution, and put some sort of description on top. Work together in your groups. When it comes to jigsaw reading, it is really important for the teachers to, to understand few factors of the success of jigsaw reading. Number one is the organization of the classroom. It is really important for the teachers to organize the students. The students know where to go, what they are supposed to do. So giving instructions, letting the students to understand what are they supposed to do is really crucial. If not, jigsaw reading would not be very effective. The student would not be able to comprehend what are they supposed to do. So giving out instructions clearly to the students would be very crucial for a teacher to conduct jigsaw reading successfully in their classroom. Factor number two that a teacher need to consider is that the difficulty of the tag itself. If the tag is too short, too simple, I don't think jigsaw reading would be very effective to be implemented in the lesson. However, if the tags, be it narrative or factual, if it's difficult, it would be better if the teacher could introduce jigsaw reading in the classroom. Okay, so who is going to start first? Which group? Okay, Patricia, Zarif. Alright, go ahead. Take the centre stage. Patricia and Zarif, you may start now. According to the plot line, there, there are four different, different important things. First one is introduction. Second is rising action. Third, climax. And the fourth is resolution. The first one, introduction. The old man and his wife brought a giant peach in the, in the river. Motawa got his name in the second picture. The third picture, the third picture was Motawa went to go back to his to his family to find and defeat the Oni. Motawa in the fourth picture, Motawa met a dog and a monkey. In the fifth picture, Motawa and his friends met a pheasant. In the, in the climax part, that was sixth picture. Motawa is friend. Are uh, all fighting at Oni. The final resolution is the Oni is giving the whole town the villagers treasure. Okay, so we listed the major characters in the story. So the major characters in the story are Momotaro, the dog, the monkey, the pheasant, and the Oni. So the main theme for the story is Momotaro goes to an adventure with a dog, a monkey, and a pheasant to retrieve the villagers' treasure from the Oni. So all of us realized, our group realized that the more values that the story contains is do not steal anything, always repay those who help you, work together with other people, be brave, be caring to everyone and always do what's right. Alright, good job. A big round of applause to Zarif and the gang. So the introduction is the old man and his wife and his wife found a giant peach in the river. After that, the peach split apart and came out a baby boy called Momotaro. They raised him to become a strong and brave boy. Momotaro waved to his parents. He bought millet cakes along the journey. Momotaro met a dog and gave the dog a millet cake. Momotaro found a monkey and pheasant flew out of the field, landed at his feet. Momotaro and his friend fought the Oni. The Oni shouted and screamed and ran away. Momotaro ordered the, la the Oni king to collect all the treasure that the Oni had stolen. The characters are Momotaro, monkey, pheasant, Oni, and a dog. Encourage the students to actually be expressive. Do not focus too much on the standard of the English that they are going to use and whatsoever. You just focus on uh, conveying the message effectively. Factor number four that a teacher need to consider when it comes to jigsaw reading. Yes, it sounds fun when the students work in groups, but you have to bear in mind, you have to move from one group to another so that every single student, they are doing their, uh, their, they are fulfilling their responsibility. Okay, can we discuss more in details about the moral values? Okay, apart from being brave, uh, being kind, what else? What else do you have? Yes, uh, Yasin. When Momotaro, want to fight with the Oni, Momotaro plan with his friends at the outside of the Oni castle with his friends. Alright. Like when, when... So what is the value there? Thinking? Thinking out of the box. Thinking outside of the box. Good job, Yasin. Yes. I feel today's lesson is very wonderful. It's fantastic. I love it very much. I think my favorite part is activity number two where we did the manila one and I have to paste the pictures. That's my favorite. 
So I will distribute this worksheet to you. This is our last worksheet. Don't worry. Worksheet C is a it's a set of comprehension questions. All right. So there are nine questions. Okay. Some of the questions I call it hot questions, higher order thinking skills. Okay. So you have to read the question, think hard because the answers are not lifted directly from the passage. You have to do a bit of reflections. I learn about storyline, uh, settings, characters, team, and moral values. Uh, I like the reading part the most. Alright class, I think it's about time for us to discuss the answer. Do not worry if you are not able to complete everything. Okay, so let's proceed with the discussion. Okay, number one, very easy. I think we can just shout out the answers, okay? Who are the characters in the story? Momotaro. The dog, the pheasant, the oni, yes, the old man and the old woman. Yes, Hadif? Oni is an ogre, they steal people's treasure. That's good, Hadif, alright. Oni are greedy monsters, they always stole things from the villagers. Good job, thank you for giving us the adjective greedy. They are greedy monsters, monsters and they stole other people's belongings or treasures. Assessment is also another factor that a teacher needs to consider. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, questioning method, the difficulty of the questions, uh, the, the, the key facts of the passage that you want to recall, those are the things that you of course need to consider when you design the lesson. Alright, if you notice that Momotaro and the Peach Boy is actually a very interesting story because they are actually telling you to work together to achieve something in life, alright? So as students, it is very crucial for you to learn how to work together among yourself with your teachers and with your parents to achieve your personal goal. Number two, don't give up easily in doing your uh, doing your work. When things get tough, you just have to keep on moving and think outside of the box. It is possible for you to come up with better solution for your problems. Alright, so that's it for our lesson. Do you enjoy the lesson? Yes, I guess that's it for today. Thank you class.